So today, we are going to learn about the respiratory system. So the organs of your respiratory system comprises your nose, your pharynx, your larynx, your trachea, your bronchi, and your lungs. So let's watch this video. In order to stay alive, the body has to breathe air. We breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. This process is known as respiration. Breathing happens automatically. Every day, the body breathes about 20,000 times. By the time we reach 70 years old, that's about 600 million breaths. All of this breathing occurs because of the respiratory system, which includes the nose, throat, voice box, windpipe, and lungs. At the top of the respiratory system, the nostrils bring air into the nose, where it's filtered, warmed, and moistened. Tiny hairs called cilia protect the nasal passageways and other parts of the respiratory tract and filter out dust and other particles that enter the nose through the breathed air. Air can also be breathed in through the mouth. The two airways of the nose and mouth meet up at the pharynx, which is located at the back of the throat. The pharynx carries both food and air and is used for digestion and respiration. One path is for food. This is called the esophagus, which leads on to the stomach. The other side is for air. It's called the trachea. A small flap of tissue, called the epiglottis, covers the air-only passage when we swallow. This stops food and liquid from going into the lungs. The larynx, or voice box, is located at the top of the trachea, the air-only pipe. This is where our vocal cords are. The trachea, or windpipe, which is a two to three centimeter tube, then extends downwards from the bottom of the larynx for about 12 centimeters. The walls of the windpipe are made strong by stiff rings of cartilage that keep it open. The trachea is also lined with tiny hairs. They sweep foreign particles and fluids out of the airway, keeping them from entering the lungs. The windpipe divides into two branches, and each one of these enters one of the two lungs of the body. Each branch resembles the limbs of a tree dividing into smaller, finer branches called bronchioles. The bronchioles end in tiny air sacs called alveoli, which look a bit like grapes. These structures enable fresh air to get to the air sacs, which are surrounded by tiny blood vessels or capillaries. The oxygen passes through these air sacs and travels through the capillary walls into the bloodstream. At the same time, carbon dioxide transfers from the bloodstream into the air sacs, where it gets breathed out of the body. When we exercise, the body needs more oxygen to feed the muscles as they work harder. The body responds by breathing more quickly and deeply. As the cells of the muscles use up more oxygen, the lungs have to work harder to keep up the supply. The respiratory system then speeds up to supply the body with much needed oxygen, and also to get rid of the carbon dioxide waste in the system. Over time, exercising also helps our chest cavity to get bigger, which enables the body to increase the amount of air it takes in. More capillaries form around the air sacs, so the body gets better at swapping oxygen and carbon dioxide gases. We can see how the body's respiratory system helps the body to move about, and is influenced by regular and ongoing physical activity as well. Okay, so your, the function of your respiratory system, it oversees gas exchange between your blood at saka yung hangin sa external environment. Exchange of gases takes place within the lungs in your alveoli. So, yung mga passageways papunta sa lungs, no? Ini-insure nila that they can purify, warm, and humidify the incoming air. So, your nose, this is the only externally visible part of your respiratory system. And yung air, pumapasok the nose, of course, through your nostrils, and the interior of the nose consists of a nasal cavity divided by a nasal septum. So, ayan, that's your upper respiratory tract. So, anatomy of your nasal cavity, there are all factory receptors na located sa yung mucosa on the superior surface. 
while the rest of the cavity is lined with respiratory mucosa para magmumoisan ng air, magta-trap ng incoming foreign particles. Yung lateral walls naman, they have project projections called conche or concave, no? Why? Why they have um, projections like that? Because this will increase surface area and this will increase air turbulence within the nasal cavity. So, anong difference ng nasal cavity mo from the oral cavity? Ay, ano yung naghihiwalay doon? Is yung mga palate. That's your anterior hard palate, which is a bone, and your posterior soft palate na muscle. So, there are cavities within the bone surrounding the nasal cavity. That's your frontal bone, no? your sphenoid bone, ethmoid bone and maxillary bone so what are these cavities or sinuses no it lightens the skull it acts as a resonance chambers for speech and they produce as mucus that drains into the nasal cavity your throat or your pharynx these are muscular passage from nasal cavity to your larynx there are three regions of your pharynx first is your nasopharynx it's the superior region behind your nasal cavity hence na nasopharynx your oropharynx is the middle region behind your mouth, no oral, oropharynx. Next is your laryngopharynx, inferior region attached to larynx. So that's your laryngopharynx. So again, your nasopharynx, your oropharynx, and your laryngopharynx. The oropharynx and laryngopharynx are common passages, passageways for air and food. So, auditory tubes enter the nasopharynx, the nasopharynx kasi sila yung nasa likod ng, ng nasal cavity. So, there are tonsils in your pharynx. We have your pharyngeal tonsils or adenoids in the nasopharynx. Doon naman sa oropharynx mo, those are your palatine tonsils. And doon sa base of the tongue mo, those are called your lingual tonsils. Your larynx or your voice box it routes the air and food into proper channels and they play a role in speech no so they they uh, this is made of eight rigid hyaline cartilages and a spoon-shaped flap of elastic cartilage which is your epiglottis so yung thyroid cartilage mo that's the largest heart hyaline cartilage that can be found in your body and it produces anteriorly sa mga lalaki that's your adam's apple your epiglottis naman, it's a superior opening of the larynx. And basically, what epiglottis does is, it's, is to route the food to the larynx and air towards the trachea. So again, don't forget, don't be confused. Food to the larynx and air papunta sa trachea. Then, we have your structures of the larynx. It's your vocal, vocal cords or vocal folds. They vibrate with expelled air to create sound speech and glottis opening between vocal cords. Your windpipe or your trachea, no, it connects with your larynx and bronchi. This is lined with ciliated mucosa. They beat continuously in the opposite direction of the incoming air and expel mucus loaded with dust and other debris away from lungs. Walls are reinforced with C-shaped hyaline cartilages. So, we have next is your primary bronchi. It's formed by division of your trachea. It enters the lungs at a high low. So, merong medial depression. So, if you study this one, no. Um, you study it with pictures. So, subaybayan nyo yung mga structures sa pictures. Ayan. So, don't forget, no, the right bronchus would be wider, shorter, and straighter than the left. No, Again, don't forget, your anatomically, your right bronchus is wider, shorter, and straighter than your left. And the bronchi subdivide into smaller and smaller branches. So, your lungs, the, it occupies most of your thoracic cavity, no? Anatomically, you call what is near the clavicle as apex, that's your superior portion, and the base, which is known as a diaphragm, so inferior portion. And each lung is divided into lobes by fissures. The right lung yung may tatlong lobes, yung left lung yung may two lobes. Ayan. So here is your lungs. 
So, covering of the lungs. Pulmonary pleura covers the lung surface. Visceral. Visceral and parietal. So, yung visceral, yun yung nagko-cover ng lung surface. While your parietal pleura, siya yung naglalines ng walls ng thoracic cavity. Plural fluid naman, yun yung, filled air, yun yung nag-fill ng area between the layers of pleura to allow gliding. So, ayan. That's your respiratory three divisions. Your primary, secondary, and tertiary bronchi, your bronchioli, and your terminal bronchi bronchos. Bronchioles. So, there are, bronchioles are the smallest branches of your bronchi. No, all but the smallest branches have reinforcing cartilage. So, terminal bronchioles, they end in your alveoli. Ayan, di ba? They end in your alveoli. So structures you have your respiratory bronchioles, alveolar duct, alveoli, and side and these are sites of gas exchange. Yung alveoli mo naman, no? We have your alveolar duct. The structure of alveoli would be your alveolar duct, alveolar sac, and your alveolus. So, gas exchange takes place within the alveoli in the respiratory membrane. So, your respiratory membrane is a thin squamous epithelial layer lining the alveolar walls. So, the pulmonary capillaries cover external surfaces of alveoli. Yeah. So, gas crosses the respiratory membrane by what? By diffusion. So, oxygen would enter the blood. Well, your carbon dioxide will enter the alveoli pabalik, no? Para palabas. May mga macrophage tayo sa lungs mo to add protection. And there is um, lung surfactant, no? That coats gas exposed alveolar surfaces. So, events of respiration. Pulmonary, pulmonary, sorry. Pulmonary ventilation, that's moving air in and out of the lungs. While your external respiration, gas exchange between pulmonary blood and alveoli. No? So, ventilation, yun yung pagpapasok and pag sa lungs mo and pagpapalabas ng hangin sa lungs mo. That's ventilation. Pag respira respiration naman yung pinag-usapan, external respiration, yung gas exchange between ng blood mo at saka ng alveoli. Respiratory gas transport, that's transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide via your bloodstream. While your internal respiration, gas exchange between yung blood na miso and yung tissue cells in systemic capillaries. Mecha mechanics of breathing, pulmonary ventilation. This is a completely mechanical process and it depends on volume changes in the thoracic cavity. Volume changes would lead to pressure changes which lead to flow of gases to equalize pressure. So, there are two phases that's inspiration, flow of air into your lungs, and, ex and expiration, air leaving the lungs. So, in... While in while your uh, your lungs would do inspiration, the diaphragm and your intercostal muscles, no intercostal muscles, contract. So the size of the thoracic cavity increases, syempre, and the external air is pulled into the lungs due to an increase in intrapulmonary volume. Yan, di ba? That's your intercostal muscles. So, yung mga muscles na nasa ribs. Pag-expiration naman, this is largely a passive process which depends on natural lung elasticity. So, yung, so yung muscles mo nag-relax, no? Mo-relax siya, the air would be pushed out of your lungs. So, forced inspiration can occur mostly by contracting internal, um, intercostal muscle to depress the rib cage. So, normal pressure within the pleural space is always negative. That's your intrapleural pressure. Differences in lung and pleural space pressures keeps lungs from collapsing. So, non-respiratory air movements. This can be caused by reflexes or voluntary actions. For example, 
the coughs and sneeze would clear your lungs of debris no pag tatawa ka pag umiiyak no and a light so normal breathing moves about 500 ml of air with each breath so there are many factors that affect respiratory capacity that's first a person's size sex age physical condition and residual volume of air after exhalation that would be about 1200 ml of air remains in your lungs inspiratory reserve volume amount of air that we can, can be taken in forcibly over the tidal volume this is usually about 2100 and 3200 ml while your expiratory reserve volume the amount of air that can be pwede mong mapalabas that can be forcibly excel yung kaya mong mapalabas that your expiratory um that's your um expiratory reserve volume well yung inspiratory reserve volume ito naman yung air na hanggang uh, yung pwede mo talagang ma-inhale no forcibly over in tidal volume don't forget your tidal volume that's yan yung result ng yung normal breathing that moves about 500 ml of air with each breath pag napugson pa yun mo ginhawa no mo na ang inspiratory reserve volume no mo pa na ang hangin nga pwede ni mo ma-inhale on top sa tidal volume so pag mag-exhale na ka no after expiration no na napa na residual volume nga about 1200 ml yung vital capacity naman ito yung ang um, bale ang vital capacity lang ito yung total amount ng air na pwedeng mo mapalabas pasok so yan yung tinatawag natin na vital capacity how do we compute that that is your tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume plus um expiratory reserve volume so meron din tayong tinatawag na dead space volume air that remains in conducting zone and never reaches your alveoli that would be around mga 150 ml functional volume ito yung air that reaches the respiratory zone this is usually about 350 ml no so ito na yung ginagamit natin sa sa hospital na meron ng spirometer spirometer yan di ba yan yung yan yung yan yung sinasabi natin kanina so respiratory sounds sounds are monitored with a stethoscope no so pwede mong pakinggan yung respiratory sounds over a stethoscope so first we have bronchial sounds these are produced by air rushing through your trachea and your bronchi well your vesicular breathing sounds these are sounds na papangkinggan mo for the air habang habang yung air pinupuno yung alveoli so those are your vesicular breathing sounds so um oxygen movement into the blood the alveoli will always have more oxygen than the blood oxygen moves by diffusion towards the area of lower concentration so that's how diffusion works right so pulmonary capillary blood gains oxygen So, pag carbon dioxide naman paalis ng blood, blood returning from tissues have higher concentrations of carbon dioxide than air in the alveoli. Siyempre. Then, pulmonary capillary blood gives up carbon dioxide. So, ayun lang. Exchange, exchange lang siya parate. No? So, blood leaving the oxygen is... Blood leaving the lungs is of course oxygen rich and carbon dioxide poor. So, ox inside the red blood cells at oxygen transport in blood. So, they would be inside your RBCs attached to your hemoglobin. No? That would be your oxyhemoglobin. And a small amount is carried to be di dissolved in the plasma. Then, pag carbon dioxide naman, they are usually transported as bicarbonate ion. And there are small amounts carried inside the RBCs on hemoglobin but at different binding sites than those of your oxygen. So internal respiration, exchanges of gases between blood and body cells, an opposite reaction to what occurs in the lungs. Carbon dioxide diffuses out of tissue to blood and oxygen diffuses from blood into the tissue. Wait lang. 
Oke. Okay. Ayan. So, that's your internal respiration. No? The exchange of gas between your dugo and your body cells. Sandali lang na. Okay. Ayan, yun lang yung summary ng mga pinag-uusapan natin kanina. So, ay, ayaw lang dyan magkalimot, no? Itong pag-track sa asa pa dulong ang dugo, gikan pa lang sa heart, no? Itong flow sa dugo sa heart, no? Mupaad to siya dito sa lungs. So, man na ay exchange of gases. So, mauna na yung pangitabuan. Uh, mauna na dyan lang mga basic. So, natural regulation of respiration, activity of respiratory muscles is transmitted to the brain by phrenic and intercostal nerves. Neural centers that control rate and depth are located in the medulla. The pons appears to smooth out respiratory rate. So, your normal respiratory rate is 12 to 15 respirations per minute. And hypernia is increased respiratory rate often due to extra oxygen needs. So, what are the factors influencing respiratory rate and depth? First is your physical factors. Your increased body temp, exercise, talking, coughing, and volition, which is your consciously controlled. No? So, emotional factors, chemical factors, carbon dioxide levels, no? oxygen levels. So, Next, dito na tayo sa mga respiratory disorders. First is we have your COPD or your chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This will be exemplified by chronic bronchitis and um, emphysema. So, this is a major cause of death and disability in the United States. So, features of this, features of this disease would be... Um, Patients almost always have a history of smoking. So, no, pag nag-history taking kayo, um, pag sinasabi yung, pag sinasabi ng, ng pasyente, no, na he has a history of smoking, no, he's a smoker, no, you will, kagad yung talagang, um, i-co-consider yung, uh, COPD, lalo na pag, ang ang pasyente ay meron ng no umuubo may sputum production na may exertion may exertional dyspnea no so ayan so ayan coughing and frequent pulmonary infections are common labored breathing nahirapan guminga becomes progressively more severe so in COPD most victims would re retain no carbon dioxide and uh, they are hypoxic and have respiratory acidosis and those infected will ultimately develop um, respiratory failure no? so itong COPD um, ito siya um, that would encompass your two two Conditions. This is your emphysema, no? Emphysema means meron ng enlargement and destruction ng yung alveoli. While your bronchitis naman, no? Yan yung characterized by yung ubo na super tagal na, no? Chronic cough. Tapos, ano yung? May kasama ng sputum pa rin. So, that's your COPD. So, next is your, oh, ayan, meron pala, emphysema. So, emphysema, al the alveoli enlarge as adjacent chambers break through. 
um, chronic inflammation would promote lung fibrosis and that the airways would collapse during expiration. That's why yung mga patients, no, they use a large amount of energy to exhale. Then, overinflation of the lungs leads to a permanently expanded barrel chest. So, pwede nyo i-search sa Google what is a barrel chest. No? That, that is very typical of um, that would be uh, typical of emphysema. No? So, they will have prominent use of accessory muscles no they would need large amount of energy to exhale because the like, collapsing airways nila during expiration and the cyanosis no cyanosis would appear late in the disease so what do you mean what do you mean by cyanosis no cyanosis no pag titingnan kanyan as pasyente no medyo color blue ka na no, meron ng bluish purple, bluish purplish color na sa skin mo kasi hindi ka nakakahinga. So, chronic bronchitis, no, because of the lower respiratory passages, becomes severely inflamed. No, mucus production increases and the pooled mucus impairs ventilation and gas. So, dahil dito may pooled mucus, no, merong pagtutubuan yung infection, no. So, they have a the risk of their lung infection increases. That's why pneumonia would be really common. No? Hypoxia and cyanosis occur early. So, makikita mo, early pa lang sa pasyente, medyo color bluish na sila. Ayan. So, that's your COPD. So, if you have family members na nagsusmoke or if tayo, smoker, ganon, no? You should always know that smoking will really put you in risk of COPD. Ayan, oh, pala. Tobacco smoke and air pollution, di ba? Pag continually na-irritate and nag-inflame yung lungs mo, no, you will, you can get chronic bronchitis. No? And, pag nagbe-breakdown yung elastin mo in connective tissues of lungs, pwede ka magkaroon ng emphysema. Ayan. So, all of this will lead to airway obstruction or air trapping, dyspnea, and frequent infections, thus causing respiratory failure so lung cancer lung cancer accounts for one third of all cancer deaths in the united states increase incidence associated with smoking there are three common types that's your squamous cell carcinoma your adenocarcinoma and your small cell carcinoma sids or your sudden infant death syndrome apparently healthy infant stops breathing and dies during sleep so ito siya medyo bigla biglaan lang no namamatay yung bata tuwing natutulog no, or something yan yan siya tina, nilalagay na yun dun as sudden infant death syndrome lalo na kung um, minsan yung mga undiagnosed mga ganun so some cases sinasabi nila meron daw problems sa neural respiratory control center well yung one third of cases naman they appear to be due to heart rhythm abnormalities so next wait okay next would be your asthma so your asthma is a chronic inflamed hypersensitive bronchial passages you have chronically inflamed hypersensitive bronchial passages this responds to irritants with dyspnea coughing uh, um because meron kang response to irritants, no, whatever you, and whatever nakaka-trigger sa pasyente, no. Ang response nun sa irritants na yon is dyspnea, coughing, and wheezing. So, eto, embryology, developmental aspects of the respiratory system. So, pag fetus ka pa lang, yung lungs mo, punong-puno yun ng fluid. And hindi pa yun siya, bro, dili pa siya na burot na ano, wala pa na siya hangin until 2 weeks after birth, no? 2 weeks pa after birth. So, surfactant that lowers alveolar surface tension is not present until late in fetal development. Kaya, pag premature yung bata, no? Chinecheck talaga yan kasi baka may problema sa um, walang surfactant yung lungs nila, kaya medyo hindi gumagana 
So, yun yung isa sa mga pinoproblema natin pag premature yung baby. Kasi yung surfactant, nag, um, nagde-develop lang siya late in fetal development. So, may mga, may mga congenital birth defects tayo. So, that's your cystic fibrosis over secretion of thick mucus clogs. Um, that's why nagkaklog yung respiratory system. No? So, favorite yan ng mga medical drama, mga cystic fibrosis. Cleft palate, no? yung mga, if I'm not mistaken, yung mga tinatawag natin ng mga ngungo. Then, pero, ano yan ha, natatahi, tinamatatahi naman yan. Matatahi naman yan sa mga bata. So, aging effects, um, elastic. Uh, syempre, habang tumatanda ka, the, elast the elasticity of your lungs would decrease, vital capacity would decrease, and blood oxygen levels would decrease. No? Stimulating effects of carbon dioxide would decrease. This will put you more in risk of respiratory tract infection. <clears throat> so, as a vital sign sa hospital, no, in checking the patient, we get the respiratory rate. So, newborns, normal lang yan, 40 to 80. Infants, mga 30. Pag age 5, pag age five no, around 25. Adults, 12 to 18 talaga yan. Then, rate often increases somewhat with old age. Ayan. So, thank you very much.